All right, welcome back. This is Chris coming at you. Thank you again for stopping by OD5 Fishing. I am very glad you're here because you could be anywhere on YouTube, but you are here today and I appreciate it. So you can see um, as fishing goes, um, oftentimes if you miss the fish on the first bite, so when you have good bait on there, leave it out there because they will often come back. And um, you can see that this is one of those days and you can see I just did miss a fish, but I left it out there and lo and behold, it came back. Now, fish bites is a unique uh, kind of bait, and um, I believe the first variety of fish bites was, was bloodworms. I could be wrong, so keep me honest if, if you're out there and you know better. But um, there are many, many, many different flavors um, I have discovered um, as uh, one of the local places here. Um, True Value actually has a fishing side and this is down in Carolina Beach so um, if you do go in there and end up getting fish bites tell them that OD5 fishing channel Chris right, sent you but um, anyway they have quite a few different flavors they have um, shrimp flavor in a couple different colors like chartreuse and um, there's a pink color that I've seen online not sure if they have those at true value um, also there are different baits like crab and clam flavors yeah, I mean you name it there's some pretty cool baits there's a gentleman next to me actually that just wanted to switch up his bait because the wind picked up as you can see my back is to the wind and uh, so it's quite chilly but he wanted to switch his sinker to a three ounce instead of a two um, I personally did not feel that the current warranted a change of the weight so I'm sticking with what I got so uh, that's that's what the deal is here but the two bait varieties of fish bites that I'm actually running today are the sand flea, uh, which is actually orange on one side, white on the other, and um, shrimp is a chartreuse color um, that I also have going today and getting some nice whiting and Virginia mullet. So uh, this was a good day, definitely was not complaining. And if you saw my previous video, you know that um, I actually was out here and was privileged to seeing some whales um, of all things. Um, I can't say that it's a normal occurrence for me uh, to see whales uh, within a hundred yards of the pier. Um, I don't know if you actually go and check out that video. One of the shots I got close to the end of the, that um, actual video, that whale was less than a hundred yards from the pier, which was pretty amazing to me to see a whale up that close. And the irony of that is that I was actually out there fishing yesterday and there was a class of students out there with a teacher and uh, she was breaking it down. I really was able to name the whale and everything. I forgot what she said the name of it was, but um, it was pretty cool to see them get super excited seeing the whales and she mentioned that they were probably feeding on Manhattan and of course the dolphin were out there with them and the pelicans were out there feeding on the school of whatever they were feeding on. So it was a, another cool sight to see. I see another nice whiting coming up. And that's my buddy Charles that you've seen me fish with from time to time here on OD5 and uh, he just grabbed some breakfast sandwiches so thank you Charles appreciate that and I do also want to take a moment here and give a shout out to Kent. Uh, Kent recognized me yesterday uh, when we were fishing on the pier he came over and said hello so I appreciate that and um, thank you for all of you that are watching my videos and you know, those of you that do come up and say hello when you see me out and about uh, definitely do appreciate the love uh, on that. Um, you know, I do these videos because it's fun, um, but I also do it because I feel like I have a bit to share about just different things fishing-wise. And obviously, you can be a novice and come here and learn some things. And, you know, you can be a little advanced and at least you know, get a fishing report over here, if nothing else. So um, I do enjoy doing it. So thank you for your feedback. Um, as always, I do appreciate that. And, um, you know, again, if you are uh, out and about and, you know, you, you see something cool or you have a good fishing experience, definitely hit me down in the comment box. You know, it's, of course, getting later in the year. You're about mid-December now, and, of course, in some places, the fish are doing something like hibernating, you could say, or going to warmer water. So um, definitely keep us, let's use this as a community. Let's keep each other in the loop. And uh, as always, thank you for stopping by OD5. This is Chris. Signing out. OD5 out. Be kind to the fish.